In this video, we are going to use the text pane in Java Swing to show image. First, I'm going to import Java Swing, import Java X dot swing, then import Java X dot swing dot border. Java IO import Java dot IO import Java X dot swing dot file chooser. We will select the file image file and show it on a text pane. So we need a file chooser for that. And then I'm going to import java awt package and java awt event package dot awt package and import java dot awt event package Now I will make this our show image class extends JFrame. And then create J file chooser object. And I will name it file C for file chooser. And his new J file chooser. And then I'm going to create an object of text pane. J text pane text pane. And by creating a new J text pane pain and after this I'm going to create a button that we are going to click and then we will open a J file chooser to select the image file so first I'm going to create a J button J button and I'll name it button and then new new j button j button and add the text or the title on the button to show image and now i'm going to add a constructor to this class of our show image Public show image and inside show image, I'm going to set text pane non editable. So our uh, text pane dot set editable to be false. And now I'm going to add a text pane to JFrame and then add a button to. So I just need a semicolon over here. And I'm just going to add and in the center. So pass in center, then our text pane. And our button to south side and pass in button 
And now I'm going to add an actional listener to our button. Button dot add action listener then action listener then I will add this and uh, I need to implement action listener extend j frame comma implements action listener action listener No, oh, I did a comma over here need to implement action listener and then I'm just going to add over here after our constructor just come over here before main here I will define public wide action perform so this function will be called when we click on our button it will get action event from which we will look up the event coming from and now I'm going to use file chooser dot set file filter to just select image files file name extension filter pass in open image and then pass in the extension such as jpeg jpg and jpeg jpeg and jif and if you need another extension you can add i'm just gonna go up to this and extension filter it should be s and this should be uppercase M. And now I'm going to get return value and by file chooser show open dialog. And then our show image dot this. And now if the image is selected, so we are going to do if we are going to check return. It should be uppercase. I will make this be uppercase. Return value equals j file chooser dot approve option and then file file, <laughs> file and a file chooser we are going to get selected file it will return the image file that is selected and we can get the absolute path of this file so we can add to our icon so it's going to be icon icon and new image icon and file dot get absolute path
And now I'm going to insert an icon into text pane by calling text pane dot insert icon and passing in our icon. I just need to close this and go to main function so we can create an object. Maybe one is extra, so I need to remove it. Now I'm going to create an object of our class show image. sh and new show image and call this constructor and now set the frame properties such as the title it's gonna be our sh dot set title Show image sample and also with our frame going to set default close duration for our frame to exit on close so that will be j frame dot exit on close semicolon and then as such dot set it before duration A is missing over here and now well, I need also to set the size of the screen and I will set the size to 500 by 500 just over here on lad set dot set size 500 by 500 and at the end we are going to set visible to true such dot our frame to visible set visible visible to true and just save it This over here is a dot, not a comma. So everything looks okay. Now we can run our program.